the story node is the most basic storytelling unit. You can name it. You can add text. You can select or import an image. And you can select or import a sound. And you can use rich text like bolding, italicizing, alignment, or even size. You can preview it by clicking on this icon on the right hand side of the text input. Click and drag from the arrows to connect one or more nodes. You can delete connections and you can press Shift X to connect multiple nodes at once. Shift L to lay them out. Two nodes connected to one node in this manner present the player with a choice. If you'd like to delete a node but preserve the connections, use Backspace. When you're ready to get more advanced, you can add flags. The flags will precede the choice that sets them. You can set it to visible by just selecting change or change and new total from add flag changes to description. The flag change will automatically display this way on your cards. Here I've added some lighting nodes to demonstrate a point. The nodes that don't appear on the table are not actually executed until a node that is selected on the table is chosen. So in this case, the default lighting won't happen until I select choice 1, and it won't become dark until I select choice 2. I can make it bright or dark. You can learn more about the lighting nodes from their own video.